know a little bit about the bus industry. Um, unlike many of my uh, competitors for the mayoralty, I've actually used the bus. Well, I was a full-time official of the Transport and General Workers Union uh, for a very long time. I was also head of the transport section within that and buses, the bus workers were a very important part of it. So I spent a lot of time negotiating with employers, dealing with local authorities, um, representing members of the union with government as to how they saw the bus industry and what their objectives were, trying to make things better for our members, but at the same time, of course, for uh, the passengers, because without the passengers, there wouldn't be a job for bus drivers, engineers and uh, administrative staff. A big problem, of course, was that uh, the Tories had this social experiment in the mid 80s where they privatised and deregulated the bus industry. Councils no longer um, able to own bus companies and to run them. Um, a claim that what was going to happen was that the costs of running bus services would be massively reduced by this process. Actually, all that's happened is that instead of subsidising buses uh, from the public purse, we've ended up subsidising uh, private companies who pay dividends to shareholders. Uh, something like 40 odd percent of the cost of running the bus industry in this country is actually goes straight into the coffers of private companies. What we've actually seen is a massive drop in bus use. Far, far fewer people using the bus anymore. Buses, of course, becoming almost an endangered species in some uh, estates. It takes forever to get for a bus to arrive. You rarely see one. You don't know when they're coming. Uh, many areas aren't being serviced as they used to do, and the frequency of buses is much, much less. <laughs> It'd be really good if we saw out of this mayoral contest a complete change in the way the bus industry is um, organised so as to serve the community. If we saw uh, more buses uh, with a uh, fares are set at a reasonable level. They've been rising at twice, three times the rate of inflation. If we saw a massive improvement in uh, bus services, then it would have an impact upon um, the air quality in the West Midlands. It's a very, very challenging concern for us, which the government has set as one of the main targets for the, the mayor to address.